Louisiana friends and neighbors, hello, hello. It is now the month of August, so you know what that means. It's time for our housing market update. If we haven't met yet, I'm Melanie Van Buskirk, and I'm glad that you're here with me today to talk about what's happened in the local real estate market here in Northwest Louisiana for the entire month of July. And we'll also touch back and I'll remind you about what happened in May and June as well. So let's get to it. Back in July, we had 645 houses that were listed for sale in the entire Northwest Louisiana area. Back in June, that number was 680, and back in May, that was 720. We had 298 properties that got acceptable offers put on them and went to a pending status. Out of that 298, 146 had just been listed in July. Back when we talked for June's numbers, we had 351 pendings that took place, and in May, that was 397. We had 455 closings that took place, so those are our solds. Back in June, we had 538, and in May, we had 565. We had 28 properties that expired in July. That means they lived out their entire contract period without selling. Back in June, we had 29, and in May, we had 41. Right now, in total, there are 798 properties available for sale on the market. When we talked last month, there were 788 properties available for sale. And when we talked about May's numbers, that was 656. So we have seen a little bit of an increase, little by little, in inventory. When we talked last month, Wells Fargo was at a 5.25, and we're looking at 30-year fixed conventional loans. Rocket Mortgage was at 5.5 and Chase was at 5.49. Now today, when I look, we have for Wells Fargo, we're looking at a 4.75. Rocket Mortgage is at 5.875, and Chase is at 4.99. What we're seeing right now is an evening out of the market. It's been unbalanced for the last two years. It's been a strong seller's market, and right now we're seeing it cooling down. Things are cooling off, and it's going to become a more balanced, even market, which is great for the entire market as a whole. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. On this channel, you'll see videos about tips for both buyers and sellers. You'll see home tours, subdivision tours, things to do in the area, and of course, market updates. All right, we'll see you soon on the next video.